Hi everybody, this is Joe from Prep Agent, and today I want to talk about a trust deed. Not everybody needs to know about a trust deed because it's used to different degrees in different states. So check with your local state to see if it's something you need to know about. But if it is something you need to know about, let's begin. I want to put it in very simple terms, a very real life example if you will, and then we'll take on the more technical terms. So first off, we got to remember trust deeds have three parties. Three parties, trustor, trustee, and beneficiary. Three parties, trustor, trustee, beneficiary. Right there is the most important thing you got to know. If you don't know anything else, please remember that. So who are these people? So first off, you got the trustor. The trustor is some random guy who wants to buy a house. He doesn't have enough money. So he's walking around and says, I need money. I don't have enough. Who could I call? I know. I'll call the bank. They'll lend me money. They say, bank, I need some money. Can you give me some money? I want to buy a house. And the bank's like, I don't even know you. I'm not giving you any money. And the trustor is like, come on, please give me some money. Give me some money and I'll pay you back. It'll be great. I'm a totally qualified borrower. Don't worry about it. And the bank's like, eh, I'm not so sure about this. I don't know if I'm really into this. I don't want to deal with this guy. And then in comes this guy called the trustee. The trustee says, hey guys, I heard your problem. I'll step in. I'll be in the middle. Here's what's going to happen. Okay. Trustor. I want you to give me legal title. You hear that? You, the trustor, I want you to be the giver of legal title, legal title. And the trustor is like, but if I give you that, then it's not my house. Is it? That's not fair. And the trustee says, no, 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 no. But you can retain equitable title. Equitable title. You got that? And the trust store is like, okay, and I guess that'll give me the right to live there and enjoy any equity increase in the property. So it's my money. And the trustee's like, yup, that's what it is. So the trustee will receive legal title. Now, a trustee could go to the bank now and say, hey, bank, I got legal title. Awesome. So if that guy doesn't pay you, just let me know and I'm going to take care of it. I'm going to mess him up. I'm going to do a foreclosure and we'll call it a psh, trustee sale. What do you think? And the bank's like, I like it. That's good stuff. I'm into it. So days pass. Everybody's happy. But then one day the trustor does not make his payments and the beneficiary, the bank is upset and he goes to the trustee and says, Hey, trustee, remember that guy, the trustor? Psh, he didn't pay me. I'm so pissed. Okay. So then the trustee says, all right, I'll take care of it. The trustee will go to the trust store and say, Hey, you're not paying him. I'm giving you some time to pay. And if you don't pay him by that time, I'm coming to get you. All right. So you have until that date to bring this up to speed and pay back the bank. You got it. And the trust store is like, whatever, I'll do what I want to do. You can't tell me what to do. Okay. So it doesn't listen to him. Time passes. And then guess what happens? The trustee says, bank, has he paid you? He says, nope, hasn't paid me. Oof, I gave him a warning. And now it's time to go. Now you have a trustee sale. Whap, right on the front of the door. Trustee sale. And now essentially that trust door, that person living in the house, is in a race to buy back his own house. Because once that sales, sell, excuse me, done, gonzo, you gotta go, okay? So that's why they use that trustee, because the foreclosure process is way faster. No judicial foreclosure like you do with a mortgage where you have to involve the courts and whatnot. Once that trustee says it's go time, he's gone, all right? They're gonna sell that house and he's gone, okay? Everybody got that? So I want you to remember that. So that's the second thing I want you to remember. A trustee sale has a much faster foreclosure process, which is the other reason they do it. Now let's take a reverse scenario. Let's say the trustor, the person who gave legal title to the trustee who received legal title, made all his payments, made every payment on time like clockwork to the beneficiary. Well, then the beneficiary is going to say, hey, trustee, remember that guy, the trustor? He's like, yeah, what about him? Great guy. Totally awesome. He made his payments on time and it was just perfect. 
What a stellar dude. I would have Starbucks with that guy in a second. You know what? He's done. He doesn't owe me anything more. So then the trustee will say, really great news. I'm going to go to him and I'm going to make sure he has his legal title back. I'm going to transfer the interest with a deed. I'm going to use a reconveyance deed. So the trustee gives him the reconveyance deed. The trustor has the reconveyance deed, which says he paid everything full, legal titles back to him. Now he's got equitable title, legal title. He doesn't owe anybody anything. And now you get the idea of why they use a trust deed. Okay. Hopefully that helps. But if you don't remember anything else, remember this. There's three parties in a trust deed. Trustor, trustee, and beneficiary. Okay. The trustor is the give or, remember our O-R-E-E -E rule, lessor, vendor, option or, give or, profit or, for your pleasure. To the trustee who receives it, remember our E-E, -E, lessee, vendee, option E, give me property, makes me happy. So they receive that promissory note as evidence of the debt. Okay, and they receive that legal title, the trustee, on behalf of that beneficiary. Why do they do this? Because it's a much more expedient process for the foreclosure should that trustor not pay. And that's the reason they use that. Now, different states have different laws, which is why not every state uses it. But for now, this is Joe from Prep Agent. I hope you, that, and I hope that helps you understand more about a trust deed.